Hey guys, welcome to the fifth video of Firebase Cloud Messaging for Android. So in the last video, we have received the FCM message. Now in this part, we will see how we can build a notification in our Android site. So for this task, I am going to create a separate class. So again, click on your package and go to new and select Java class. Now we can give it a name and I'm giving my notification manager. So we have our class my notification manager. Now in this class, first we will get the context. So define a context. Now we will create a constructor and we will initialize this context. So public my notification manager and it will take a context. That's it. Now this dot context object equals to context object. So we have the context. Now we will build our notification. So for this, I'll create a method and we'll call this method to build a notification. So write public void show notification. Now for notification, we will need the title of the notification or we can call it from and then the notification itself and then we need an intent uh, and this will specify where the user will go after clicking on the notification so we have from notification and intent now we will create a pending intent pending intent or say it pending intent equals to pending intent dot get activity now here we will pass the context object so we have ctx and then the id so let's define a constant here like public static final end notification id equals to let's say 234 you can give any value just this is only to track the notification click on the intent so we will pass it notification id and the next parameter is the intent so we can use this object the intent where our, we will go after clicking on the notification and then a flag so write pending intent dot dot flag cancel or update current it will update the current notification so our pending intent is ready now we will build our notification and for this we will be using notification compact builder so let's see we will write notification compact dot builder okay now the object name equals to new and notification compact dot builder that's it now we will pass the context here so we have ctx now we will create a notification 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 Yeah, or let's say it we are already using notification here so here we will write notification or m notification m notification equals to and we will create a new notification using the builder object so write builder dot set small icon and you can pass an icon here so for now i'm using the default android launcher icon which is inside r dot map dot ic launcher so you can change the icon just create an image or download any image and put it inside your drawable folder and you can write r dot drawable dot your icon name now we will 
set some more properties so write dot set auto cancel to true set content intent to the our pending intent then set content title to the title we are getting and it is from for now then set content text to our notification and we can set some more properties but for now this is okay or we can also set a large icon and for this also i'm using the default launcher icon and then finally call build oops here we need a graphic so just write for large icon we have to write bitmap factory bitmap factory dot decode resources decode resources and then the context object dot get resources and then we will pass r dot mipmap dot ic launcher and that's it so we have the large icon we have the small icon we have the title and we have the notification now we will set some flags so we'll write m notification dot flags and it will be oops, it will be notification dot flag auto cancel so that our notification will be cancelled automatically now we will create a notification manager object to notify the user so write notification manager then the notification manager object equals to and we will get the notification let's first cast it to notification manager and then the context object dot get system service and then we will write context dot notification service and that's it so we have our notification manager now we will notify the user so let's write notification manager dot notify and then we will we can use our notification id as the first constant and then the notification object that's it now we will call this method to build the notification so come inside your my firebase messaging services and here create a method public void notify user and let's define our notification manager it is my notification manager so we have our notification manager and i guess no need to define it here we can directly write here so we have my notification manager and then we will call the notify user method so let's first define two string here string from and the string notification and then we will call we will create an intent so create or we can directly pass the intent just call the method show notification and we have to pass from notification and an intent so here we can write new intent and we can open the main activity when the notification is clicked so i'm writing main activity dot class so that's it now just call this method so we'll call it here notify user and we will write remote message dot get from and remote message dot get notification dot get body 
so that's it now when the not notification is received we are calling the method show notification and we have created the show notification to display a notification so this is how it's going to be going to work and let's try running the application again go to your firebase console and go to notification as we don't have our own server now to send notifications we are going to use firebase console in the upcoming videos we will create our own server to send the notification but for now just send it with firebase console so we will hit a new message here now let's search for my fcm token so we have my fcm token and let's copy it copy the token go to firebase console and select single device here put the token and enter message text hello this is a sample notification and then click on send now hit send and let's see and you can see we have a notification here and as you can see we have received the notification so the notification is working so that's it for this video friends and in the next video we will see how we can create our own server to send the notification so thanks for watching this video and if you like this video please hit on the like button and also subscribe to my channel and share this video and thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video